Hey everybody, how's everyone doing? I am at the Garden of the Gods and I'm kind of killing time a little bit because I want to catch the sun going down. It's so pretty here. And I thought I'd make myself a grilled cheese and a can of soup. And my friend Kim, she's just getting started in her van life. And um, she said, Katie, you need to make a video, kind of like a checklist, what you feel you need for, you know, every little aspect. So I thought I would um, cover my little kitchen area more in depth for all of you and what I think is necessary for me on the road. Um, so let me turn this around. Okay, this is my tray. I have a table I can bring you guys that folds down flat and all that stuff. But I work really well with my tray. Um, the table to me is just something else to take up more space. And I don't find it necessary. Now, if I was camping um, for longer periods of time, then yes, I'd like to have it to set it outside. But for inside the van, I'm so happy just working off of my tray. So this is going to be my soup, some vegetable beef, and I got my stuff to make a grilled cheese. But, so there's my camp stove. There's some of the mountains from Garden of the Gods. I'm in their parking lot. And here is my drawer. Now, I bought... All these little utensils from Dollar Tree. I like their size and they're gonna work perfect for me. I have a can opener. I have one measuring cup, a half cup, and I can take it from there if I need to double it or reduce it. My salt, some pepper, garlic, powder. I love this chicken bouillon. What is, oh, a battery. This, I do coffee the old, old fashioned way. I have filters and, um, I just do the pour over. This is my mirror and it's a little cheapo from Dollar Tree, but what I like about it, it works perfect right there. And then I can sit right here and do my makeup or whatever. So that is the mirror I use. And I use this old pencil box my son had for utensils. So I basically only bring myself one set um, of the real stuff. And then I have plastic, you know, if I just want to throw it away and a vegetable peeler, you guys keep one in case. I tell you what, I bought some potatoes, um, the last time I was out cause I was wanting some French fries so bad and I fried up a bunch of potatoes. Anyways, I only carry two pots, a frying pan, and then this, whatever you call it, regular pot. And I have a lid and does me well. That's all I need. And up here, I just keep my spray bottles. That's Dawn vinegar and water, or no, Dawn vinegar and water. Hand soap, watered down so I can actually rinse it off because, you know, hand soap's so thick. Regular water and then straight vinegar and air freshener. My favorite drawer because it makes my life easy. These were my mom's Tupperwares. This is the old stuff, you guys, and I just absolutely love it. But I've got um, sugar... Because I use powder creamer and sugar in my coffee. And I'm addicted to it. My coffee. 
and my powder creamer. And then I've got my filters. I've got some of that, what is that, that chai, vanilla chai, in case I wanted some. I like that once in a while. And I have a little olive oil and a little plastic bowl with a lid, you know. And down here, let me see. Hold on one second. There we go. I just had to take the bungee off. So, in here, I love these Walmart paper bowls. They work so well. And these paper plates. So, when I first started, I bought two of these because I like the shape of them. They work good. And two plates. Well, I just find it easier to use the paper and throw it away when I'm done. And, you know, you see these on everyone's videos, but they're pretty good. Um, and you might say, oh, you're killing the planet throwing your stuff away. When you're living in a van or camping in a van, you are creating way less waste than if you were at a house. Okay, at my home, I have to take my kitchen garbage out every day and I use a tall kitchen garbage can. That's how much stuff I throw away. And then I carry some zip bags and then a few extra of these little dillies. Um, and then I keep my bread and stuff in here and it keeps it from getting squished. And... I do have one of these pop-up sinks, not worth, well, not worth a hoot, I'll tell you. Um, I do like the cutting board, but this leaked from the time I got it. So I put that E6000 glue to seal it front and back. And so I can use it if I need it, you know, for washing dishes if I have that many. Um, but I like the cutting board. So. And of course, my 20 pound propane tank. <laughs> and that's about it. Okay, so that's about it. And then in um, the Audubon, I have dry goods and I have a refrigerator now I'm gonna do a video on that it's an Alpacool or it says it's an Alpacool I personally don't believe it's a real Alpacool I bought it off of eBay I got the other one returned I didn't want to deal with that company again not they didn't have anything to do with the refrigerator I received from them being damaged that was FedEx and, you know, I understand that can happen. But it did take them, it took like three weeks to get it, you know. Um, so, I tried a different, I thought it was an individual. So, I'm not real sure. Um, out of Kentucky. And I had it within three days. But, um, I will pull up uh, my thing from eBay and it was described as a no-name Chinese 12 volt refrigerator something like that and the picture looked like the other refrigerator I had that was damaged just you know a flat top all the way flat and it was $80 and $80 shipping. So 80 for the fridge, 80 for shipping, 160 plus tax. And anyways, I mean, what with three or four days it was delivered and it's the it says Alpacool on it and it has it's not a flat refrigerator. It has that raised top. 
you know, and then here's where your digital controls are. And that raised top is pretty nice because you can fit more in your refrigerator. But when you flip it over and look on the underside, and I have Travel Grandma looking at hers to let me know if, if her real Alpacool, because I think she said she got hers from the company, um, has all this Chinese writing on the bottom. You know, it's on labels or stickers, whatever you call it. And I know they make all, make knockoff Chanel purses and um, sunglasses <laughs> and all that stuff. And I'm like, this has to be a knockoff Alpacool because I only paid $160 for it. Um, but it's working. And I'm happy with it. That's all that matters right now. So, but that is a little strange, isn't it? I thought. And I asked her, I asked Travel Grandma, I said, does the word Alpacool on your refrigerator, is it like on a big label sticker? You know, like it's kind of clear in the background and got the name Alpacool. And hers is in the back where she has it. So um, she was, I believe she said San Francisco when I was talking to her. So it was completely packed full of food and she'd have to, she has to lift it up to be able to look at any of that. So she said whenever she got it empty or more empty, then she'd take a look at it and let me know exactly what it says and if it's like painted on there or if it's a sticker or whatever. But anyways, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to, with the one burner stove, you have to make your choices. What are you going to cook first, right? So I think if I really boil my soup and get it good and hot, then I can do my grilled cheese because that, that won't take long and the soup will still be hot. So I'll bring you right back. Okay, so I have the soup going and I wanted to show you the little um, wind and splatter shield that I made out of cardboard and aluminum foil. And I made it like the the metal windshields and stuff that you can buy in the store. They're a lot shorter. And I made it taller like that. Um, just to help with any kind of splatters. Now I'm not real concerned about the soup and the grilled cheese today. But I've made things that um, like chili and stuff like that that... If they could splatter really easy and that's going to make a real mess and then this top I like it because no matter what the heat is not going to go up here and damage anything um, just trying to protect it protect the van and keep myself and cookies safe um, so I'll bring you back when this is hot. You know, while we're waiting on the soup and stuff, I wanted to show you my little get up. What I use for brushing my teeth. So simple. If the lid um, cracks or splits, I throw it away. I have a couple more at home. So I use these like sour cream and cottage cheese things. Let me set this down so I can open it. Hold on one second. Mm. Okay. So, I use these in their different sizes. See how the small one will fit inside the big one? And all I do is I use this one. I put clean water in it. And I'll swish my toothbrush around in it when I put the toothpaste on it. And then I can scrub away. I can spit in this one. And then I can rinse my toothbrush off. And then I take a paper towel and dry it and put it away. And then I dump this into the spit water. And then I wipe it out with a paper towel. And then I can run one of those disinfectant wipes in it and then I can dump this um, and then wipe it out as well with paper towel and disinfectant wipe 
but that's what I've came up with. It works for me. And then I just store them like that, you know. Um, I don't have gray water, so I didn't know what I was going to do. And I just wanted something like if it does get cracked or gross or something, it's just throw it away. You know, it's not a big deal. Okay, I'll bring you back when the soup is ready. Okay, it is some kind of hot. Vegetable beef. Boy, I love that vegetable soup. Um, and I've got my little pat of butter in there. That's how I make grilled cheeses. I'm trying to turn this around without making me dizzy. Oh, let me grab my bread. Okay. There you go. So, I just swish it around on there when it's time. I'm going to put two slices of cheese. I'm hungry. All right, now, Cookie, go, go, get back up on that couch. Yes, and put another little pat, get the other slice. There it goes. All right. <laughs> there it goes. It's cooking. Nothing fancy. I should have worn my belt today. <laughs> Nothing fancy. Super easy. But it works. And I like it. So that's what counts. <laughs> it feels so good to be in the van for outings and cooking and stuff like that i want to be on the road so bad you guys and you know i just it's you got to make choices and i need to make money while i can make money and get my off-grid property you guys that is going to be amazing that's going to be a heck of a journey Boy, have I got some information to tell you guys about Colorado off-grid property. That's a joke. Don't look in Colorado unless you can afford to buy like 40 or more acres. And then I don't even know how you get away with it. But they have so many rules and regulations. It's a nightmare. It really is. So I'm not, I'm going to cease my Colorado searching. And I think I'm going to stick with Arizona. Okay, so this is important. Your um, when you're finished with the propane, turn the propane off. Let the fire go out on its own. Don't turn it off. There is so much propane in that line; it's not funny. And the, you saw me turn it off, and it is still going. That is how much propane is in that line. So I always let my stove go off like that because I don't want just loose propane. If um, the connection came loose on the stove or something, it'd be like whoosh. And I don't, you know, there's nothing. There's no other kind of fire. Voila, it's out. No other kind of fire in here, but. I, I just don't know, you know, I, I just don't want propane like that. Okay, hold one second. 
I'll show you my dinner tonight. This is what I'm eating. any kitchen towels with me. Darn it. But I have a lot of napkins. Move, Cookie. You're a bad boy trying to eat my food. He ate my hot and spicy McDonald's sandwich today. My fault. I had just bought it and I left it in the van and got out and got gas. Got back in and he was like over half done with it. Bless his heart. It's that Cushing's disease that makes him so hungry. And there we go, guys. Soup and grilled cheese. Here's that small little thing. Isn't that cute? It's just absolutely perfect and doesn't take up a lot of room. So, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I'm going to be able to end this video with a pretty sunset um, clip. So that's what I'm hanging out here for. So if I was lucky, you'll know. <laughs> so have a great night. Please like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you all soon. Okay, bye.